What's going on everybody? It's the BC Gamer here. I want to make a real quick video just to put this information out there and mix the pot and see what you guys think about it. PlayStation Plus is Sony's annually $49.99 service that gives you two games per month per platform. PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation Vita. Xbox Live Games with Gold does something very similar where you get two games for the Xbox One and two games for the Xbox 360. And so here we are at the end of the year 2014. I would have liked to ask this a long time ago, but now it seems really appropriate to ask, and it looks like somebody answered. How much money have would these games cost over the whole year period? So how much money in video games has Sony given away in 2014? And how much money in video games has Xbox Games with Gold given away in 2014? This article is on Polygon.com. The freebie games offered by online services like PlayStation Plus seems like one of the best values in gaming, but is it really? According to one analysis, the answer is, well, yeah. Push Square, a UK-based PlayStation-oriented publication, went through the entire year's worth of free games released in Europe and North America on PlayStation Plus for PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation Vita. Yes, the well-known catch is that you get to play these games only if your $50 annual subscription is current, but buying in at that amount returned more than $1,300 in games, according to each game's licensed PSN price as of yesterday. So, $350 worth of games were given away with PlayStation Plus in 2014, which is quite a bit. Uh, I'm sure there are lots of you guys out there who haven't spent $1,000 in a year on video games in a while. $1,350 worth of video games were given away by PlayStation Plus. Now I'm going to go ahead and move over to the Xbox One and uh, tell you guys what Xbox Games with Gold did. Xbox Live's Games with Gold program gave away more than $500 worth of games at current prices in 2014. Drawing off the PlayStation Plus analysis from Squ Push Square, Polygon did their own Xbox Live's Games with Gold benefit to North American subscribers. Though the whole dollar amount is $584, is much smaller than the $1349 that PlayStation Plus delivered. Microsoft also is dealing with one less platform. PlayStation Plus offers games for the PlayStation Vita handheld, and Games with Gold didn't ramp up on the Xbox One until June. 34 games were offered for free in 2014 for those with a $60 Xbox Live Gold membership, which many have long considered a standard, if hidden, cost of owning an Xbox 360 or Xbox One. There's no way to access multiplayer without it, after all. The free games range from $9.99 like titles, with titles like Halo Master Assault to Darkstalkers 2, currently listed at $39.99 on Xbox Live Marketplace. So. Xbox Live gave away $584, which equates about $500 after the cost of the membership. PlayStation gave away $1,350, which equates $1,300 after your $50 annual membership. That's a pretty big deal. Uh, that's, that's pretty phenomenal when you look at it. Of course, the PlayStation Vita is an addition, but still, that's a pretty steep number compared to the other. What do you guys think about this? Do you use PlayStation Plus? Do you use Xbox Live Games with Gold? What are your thoughts on uh, the amount of games? I'll say this. I think PlayStation's, uh, PlayStation Plus is the best video game subscription out there. I think it's awesome. Games you get to keep forever as long as you have your membership. Uh, I think Xbox Games with Gold is learning a lot from PlayStation, but I think Xbox has a much better network, so they can both learn from each other. You guys, be sure to sound off in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this news. $584 versus $1,349. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. And it's two over. Got him. You didn't think I could shoot you in the face, did you? It's called a face shot. Don't expose your eyeballs. The camera sees all. Yeah, but normally I'm cool with DLC and shit like that. They're all coming back here. You about to jump out the window? Straggler, look alive! The rest of them are in the back.
That is so stupid. <laughs> Stab the shit out of him. Sure can. I got you. Appreciate it. You might want to rethink respawning in our hood, man. This is our hood. Finish. Got it. Hey, they get raped. Yeah, but normally I, I, I give DLC a, the benefit of the doubt. But this last little bit of DLC they came out with, you got no new maps. You got a whole bunch of new animations which should be included for free. You got um. Three new weapons, three or four, four new weapons. Need a minute. We got a new handgun, a new fully auto, a new semi auto, right. and a new sniper. And I just feel like uh, they cash counted it out. And, and that new, um, that new bow gun is just about as OP as it gets, man. Dragon. Don't fuck with the beast. You can have this. Arms up! Heads up! No one comes back from that! Nope, nothing in the way. Oh! Just <laughs> shoot this dude once. Oh shit. Smokes away. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Damn. You guys help him out, man. Help him out. Help the man. <laughs> yeah, this is the last rock, fellas. Son. You think I'm a joke like you? No, sir. Let me check it. Yeah, so um, the new, the latest DLC, I give it a 5 out of 10, man. Just feel let down. I feel like Naughty Dog could have done so much better. And then they went and took a game like this. This is called Machete. Let's go try that shit with me, son. Let's try that. I'll give you that. Nice, nice attempt. Where's your homie at? Okay. Cut him up, yeah. <laughs> I see that. Got him. They're finished. Let's return to base. Yeah. Where do you fall at? Really enjoyed that. Feels.